Hey, my tequila shots, and welcome back to another episode of Tea with a Shot of Tequila Vlog. I am none other than Tequila, and as y'all can see, K. Michelle has been retired. Like, I had to put her down for a little bit, and Brenda is here, okay? But don't worry, because K. Michelle coming back. Y'all gotta know she coming back, because I love... Hey, if you know, then you know. Now... If you tune into the podcast on a weekly basis and have not subscribed, what's that you so long? You might as well go ahead and subscribe and become an official tequila shot. Like, you're going to love it here, okay? You're going to love it here. Press the bell, okay? So, when you subscribe, press the bell as well so you can get these notifications because y'all know... I do do other recordings besides the podcast, and, you know, they drop. Like, I might drop my podcast Monday and have another video dropping Wednesday, and if you subscribe and got that bell pressed, you gonna know about all of that. So, make sure you do that, okay? Now, this week's topic, um, I can honestly say this probably might be one of the shortest podcast topics i have ever did because it caught me off guard this was not what i was going to be talking about this week but y'all know i got on facebook and i just kept seeing it everywhere 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 i'm just like wow like what's really going on now based off the topic y'all probably already know what i'm about to talk about so hey let's go ahead and get it started now I just want to know, why y'all on Facebook talking about, if you're not a parent, keep your advice to yourself? <laughs> like, some of you motherfuckers don't need that advice. Some of y'all need that advice and more. I mean, we're, we're just going to be honest here. Like, y'all need it. So what's, I don't get it. Like, when y'all go on Facebook and y'all be making like statuses about relationships and single people come in, I don't see y'all talking shit then. I only see no motherfucker say, if you single, don't come on this post talking about no relationship. But y'all can make several statuses about non-parents giving parental advice. Make it make sense. Help me. I mean, it's like the same thing. Y'all ass is so defensive. Why? Why y'all so mad? Now, I can see. Okay, first of all, let me just say this. I'm a parent myself. If you know me personally, you know, I'm a parent of two. Okay? Anybody giving me advice about parenting? Okay. I'm not going to be defensive toward it. Why? Because it's not hurting my kids. It's not going to hurt them. You just talking to me. Like, I can see if it's going to hurt your kid. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, as parents, we don't play about our children. So, I can see if somebody talking and it's going to hurt your child. But they just giving you some advice. You, honestly, it's up to you on what you want to do with the advice. You can take it or you cannot. So maybe y'all getting tired of what exactly? I'm not getting it. Y'all getting tired of people talking? <laughs> because, I mean, if you're not going to use the advice that's, getting, that's being given, what's the point of being mad? What's the point? It's a lot of y'all motherfuckers on Facebook talking about shit that y'all don't know shit about. But here it is. Y'all want to jump down these non-parent people's throats about their opinions jesus y'all is crazy y'all it's crazy if i'm ever with anybody and i see oh yeah x y and z is happening with all these other kids you know you might want to go you know get your your kid checked out or whatever the case may be like that's just me saying, okay, I've noticed that all these other kids have done this, but you ain't did this with your kid. So, you know, did you already handle that? Like, you want to go hop on that? You want to go look into that? Check that out? Like, I don't get it. Y'all get mad because the motherfucker actually trying to help y'all, though. 
and just trying to help y'all. Because parenting is a thing that is constantly evolving. Like, it, it's evolving. Like I mentioned, I am a mother. I have a 12-year-old and I have a 4-year-old. And when I had my son, just minus the fact that the genders are different. When I had my son, it was like, dang, they got this out. They ain't had that out when I had my daughter. Or dang, they doing this now. They weren't doing this when I had my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So it's always going to be a new set of skills that can be acquired to help you with your parenting. So these non-parents, of course, they're going to be hipped on the shit because they ain't parents. They out here, they can see more. They can know this shit. We too busy taking care of our kids. So, you know, some shit might slip through the cracks. And boom, you got a motherfucker right there to help you out. And that's how I'm looking at it. But y'all looking at it like, uh-uh. No kids, zip your lips. Excuse the hell out of me then. Now, the only thing that I think that don't change is riding a bike. Like, you can go anywhere in the world, I feel like at the country, wherever, and ride a bike the same fucking way. It ain't gonna change. Ain't shit gonna change. You gonna ride, you gonna get on that motherfucker and you gonna pedal for it. You gonna, and, and that's it. That's all the way across the board. Now, if you, listen, if I'm lying, then I'm flying and I'm still sitting here. So, if you disagree with that, I need you to comment with some receipts because that's the only thing that don't change. Riding a bike. Once you learn, you got it, and it's a skill that sticks with you. That parenting, it's going to be more and more stuff. As the years go on, it's going to be something new every time. But that bike, you're going to ride that motherfucker the same way. They can come out with a, a goddamn electro something. Like, y'all know how they be coming up with these crazy-ass names. It could be any type of bike. Guess what? You're going to get on there and ride it the same way unless it's electric. But even still, you still got to hold them. The handlebars. Okay. Now, I just really feel like the reason why y'all really be defensive is because y'all getting caught up in the messenger and not the message. Who gives a damn if they ain't no parent? Do you know if they a big brother or big sister? Do you know if they a auntie or uncle? Do you know if they are a big cousin like... A godmother or a goddad. Like, you don't know no wrong that these people, these non parent people, is playing to just shoot they, they advice down or shoot their opinion down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get opinions are like buttholes because we all have one. You know what I'm saying? I get that. But some of these opinions should be taken should be looked at y'all y'all should pay attention y'all should listen because you know it can help you <laughs> it's funny how y'all getting up here talking about this parental advice being given from non-parents but do y'all think about that when y'all leave y'all kids with these people when y'all want to go outside and stuff like do it cross y'all mind that hey they're not a parent. Maybe I should not leave my kid with them. No. Y'all don't give a fuck then. Don't pick and choose when you want to utilize these non-parent beings. Don't pick and choose. Because at the end of the day, how you can, you know, want to deal with them on the babysitting side, but don't want to deal with them when they want to give a little parental advice. Like, come on, don't do that. Now, if you're going to be straight across the board, if you ain't no parent, that's it. Be like that. Keep your kids with you or go find you another parent, you feel me, that knows something about kids. Because remember, they're not parents. They don't know shit, according to y'all. Like, I just feel like if you play any role in any child's life, like, you can say what you got to say. The only difference between y'all and us, and when I say us, I mean parents. So, the only difference between non-parents and parents is y'all can give y'all nieces and nephews back. You know, y'all can give y'all god babies back. Y'all can give y'all little cousins back. Us, we stuck. <laughs> we can, oh yeah, you can go visit, you know, 
your cousin, but they got to come right back to us. Whereas for y'all, it's go back to your mama, go back to your daddy. That's the only difference between us. Like, we have to keep our kids and y'all can, like, go home to your parents. I think that's the only thing. So, if you out here again defensive, I'm going to just take it as you guilty you guilty and something that you doing you need you know you do okay let me say it like this if you're defensive on anything somebody has said to you about your parenting i feel like you're guilty of that because if you're doing some shit right and a motherfucker you know commenting i'm talking about commenting if you are being defensive about a non-parent giving their advice, I'm going to take it as you guilty and you know you need to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because I just feel like if you're doing, you know, I'm not going to say everything right because, you know, like I said, it, it's it's an evolving skill and, you know, you're going to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's our first time doing this shit. You know? But... If you get offensive or you feel some type of way about these people giving their opinion, it's because you're guilty of the act. Like, obviously, you're not doing something. You know what I'm saying? So, a motherfucker trying to low-key help y'all out. Y'all just looking at it as a negative. Like, don't try to tell me what to do. I'm trying to help you, though, at the end of the day. And then when the shit blow up in your face, it's like, what? Right, okay? So, like I said, parent or not... These motherfuckers know what they're talking about. So, I mean, you can either listen. I mean, you can listen. You can listen or you can hear it however you want to do. You can use it or you can throw it away. It all depends upon you. But don't disqualify nobody because they're giving their opinions based on what they see. Like, obviously, they're seeing something that made them speak up. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, non-parents, keep talking y'all shit because... Y'all know some shit we don't know because y'all able to, you know, roam about the city, you feel me, and see what's going on because we too busy taking care of our kids. So, so if you got some advice, give it to me.